Hey, Mr. Brown, this is Viola from Generational Leads, Atlanta, Georgia. Amber, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me yesterday. And thank you guys for clicking on this video. I'm gonna briefly show you three easy ways that you can improve your website so that you can start bringing in more customers. And if you're wondering why I'm making this video for you, it's pretty simple because there are a lot of business owners out there who don't have the time to make the internet work for them and bring in more customers. And it holds them back from hiring a marketing agency, especially since they don't know who is an expert and who's not. So I found that by making these attack plans and giving them away for free, some business owners do this themselves and some call me back and ask for some help. So if you want some help at the end of this, give me a call so we can chat. If you want to do this yourself, please do. I'm trying to help as many business owners as I can. Now I'm going to talk, talk to you today about three things, content, backlinks, and citations. So first off, your website is a good looking website. I mean, I love the photo. I love the valuable information. I love the experience, 25 years, uh, referring to the insurance claims. All of this is amazing information. Like I said, it's overall a very good looking website, but Google doesn't rank based on how good looking your website is though. They rank you mostly based on content. And when somebody goes into the Google search and they click in something such as roofing Jackson, Georgia, Georgia, um, Google's goal is to put them in front of the article that's going to answer all of their questions, which typically is the article that has the most words on it. So the average website on the front page here of Google has 1,890 words on it. And you guys' website on your front page has probably about 550 to 2,000. So you want, you want to get at least 1,500 to 2,000 because that's pretty much going to be the best way to go. If you guys take a look at this site here, Roof It Forward, this is your top competitor in the area. And what's funny is they're not even in your area, but they are ranking highly or uh, higher in your area than um, quite a few other companies are, roofing companies are in Jackson. And if you look at their homepage, they don't even have 1500 words um, on their homepage, yet they're outranking you guys. So that means that they're easily to beat. You guys are gonna be able to beat them easily once you get 1500 to 2000 on your page. Also, if you go back here and you take a look at some of your images, you want to make sure that you are saving your images on the keywords that are going to be ranked and that are going to help you rank higher on Google. And I'll explain that further um, as we go along. Now, after that, you want to make yourself trustworthy. And Google bases this off of how many other websites are linking to you so that you you want to get relevant websites linking at you. For example, you're gonna get a lot more people giving you power if you have another roofing company linking to you rather than Pizza Hut, because obviously you guys don't sell pizza for a living. You know, this Google is pretty smart and they could recognize that. So I pretty much use this tool here this is a tool I use called Aris. I pay about $1,000 a month and it could give you some such valuable data about what's going on on the back end of the websites. As you can see, it says here that you guys have 42 referring websites or 42 websites linking back to you, which is giving you guys about 39 customers per month in organic traffic. Nothing to scoff at because there are so many other roofing companies out there that don't even have a website, yet alone any referring domains or websites linking to them. Now, if you take a look at that same competitor, Roof It Forward, let's take a look at their overview. They have 127 referring domains, 127 websites linking back to them, and which is giving them an organic traffic of 551 customers per month. So if you want to beat them, you're going to want to add another, let's say 250 to 300 websites linking to you. And what I would do is I'll just copy them. I'll go right in here and I'll take a look at all, just go down the list and you can either create an account with these companies or you could just go and click the contact us and add or uh, click on contact us in there and, and, and just ask for a link. There are different ways you could do it, but these are all the different directories that are linking back to them. But imagine if you beat them with content and you beat them with backlinks, you're going to take their organic ranking, which means you're going to take their organic traffic. So this, I mean, imagine what you guys could do or how much more money you can make if you guys were averaging an extra 551, uh, customers per month. I mean, that's a ton of business, right? And that's that's why it's so important for you to make sure that you do do this because you see what the traffic value does is 4.8 thousand. So when somebody clicks on roofing in Jackson, Georgia, and they're ready to buy, they call the first roofing company that shows up and seems trustworthy. And you guys want to be that roofing company because those are the easiest customers to close. You see, 
Now, people skip all these here. They always skip the ads, whether it be because of ad blockers or bad experiences. So where you want to rank yourself is in the local map pack section, which is this area right over here. Now, and getting here requires that you have more citations than your competitors. So anywhere where your name, address, phone number are listed in different directories across the web, like Yelp, Yex, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, Home Advisor, etc. I mean, these are the most common ones. The best strategy here is to figure out exactly what directories your competitors are in and put yourself in the exact same directories and then add a bunch more on top of that. So for example, if Thompson Metal Roofing has 150 directories or they're in 150 different directories, put yourself in like 250 to 300. Okay, so that way you can outrank them. Now, pretty much that's all I have for you. So just to give you a quick recap, get your website up to about 1500 to 2000 words. Then you wanna go ahead and have at least 250 to 300 websites linking back at you. And you're gonna to wanna to put your name, address, and phone number in as many different directories that you can upwards of your competitors. So if you wanna do all this yourself, please do. Like I said, this is free education. I'm trying to help as many business owners as I can. Just send me back some feedback. Let me know if this was valuable information. And if you want any help doing this, you can give us a call at 404-345-2771. Again, that's 404-345-2771. Either way, I appreciate you taking the time out to watch this video and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks and bye.